we have this ripped out from right here. And I would remember I was saying maybe the frame. So I know it's gonna get all the air out of the system into it warming up. Okay, so we're back again. Uh, hey, we're back again working on this 2021 Ford Escape. So as you can see in the last video, we ended up getting some stuff done, removing all the stuff from the parts car, putting it on the car that we were originally fixing. So now with this episode, what we're gonna do is try to take off some more radiator stuff and see if we could put on. We try to install a frame, we realized that didn't work. So, uh, the, the reinforcement bar realized that, that didn't work. So now we're just gonna just install all the coolant parts and then the radiators and stuff like that and then leave the frame, the reinforcement bar because I probably do have to get the frame pulled just a tad bit. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below, turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to check us out on WeRebuilds.com. Uh, and grab yourself some merch and check us out on all social media links and make sure you hit that subscribe button and like and share but anyways let's get to it what I realized was none of these holes are lining up and I did kind of mess up the epoxy floors as you can see right there how some of those looking burnt marks it was from me trying to do some weld with this but I, you know, I messed it up. I was just trying something to see how it would look. But as you can see, we have this ripped out from right here. And I remember I was saying maybe the frame is tweaked a little bit. So it is tweaked a little bit. So, cause none of these holes are lining up. So what we're gonna do though, cause I kinda wanna start the car and have it running for a while with coolant and everything. So what I'm gonna do is unbolt these four bolts so it's one two three right here and four and then we should be able to just take out the full radiator and the locks and all of that out and then we're just gonna leave the reinforcement bar in and then anytime that we get that issue solved or we go to a frame shop and then probably let them do the framework and paint it so we just get all the mechanical stuff out of the way and then we call it a day but anyways let's let me put you on a quick time lapse so i could pull these stuff off and try to start installing let's go so right now you can see that i'm pulling all four bolts off so while doing this i realized there was no way to remove the fan and the radiator out of this section of the car it's like it's basically built in in a say in a sense or something so if I try to take it out it looks like I would have damaged some of the parts which and I did not want to damage anything uh, but we end up coming up with a different plan and to see if that works because we realized there was no way of getting these pieces out so I end up had to put back everything back together and then once that was done then we went a different route so keep watching the video and you will see what was the next thing that we end up doing to make it much more easier on us to get installed to get everything installed and to get this car running Hey, so I end up um, getting a tool from Harbor Freight, this, and it kind of pretty helped it much. So as I was saying, remember I was saying the frame looks like it was tweaked a little bit because 
it was just like maybe a little bit off so this couldn't go on so all I did was just basically use this and brace it and then push the frame a little bit this way and then all the bolts went in um, down here I still have I'm still gonna have to because where you see right here all these pieces broke off so I still gonna have to take it to the shop because when they're painting it, I'm just going to have them also do the welding as well to just tack those pieces because remember how I was saying I messed up the epoxy floor so I don't want to do that again so what I'm going to do right now is probably put you on a quick time lapse see if I could I'm going to basically remove this brace out of here to get it out and then see and then see if I could basically once I'm done See if I can cut, connect all the wires, everything on. Still leave the hood off. Well, I'll probably take the hood off and then put coolant in it. See if I could get it running and have it run up to operating temperature and see if that is good. Once I know that is good, then I know, okay, everything should be running smooth. But for now, this is just gonna be a quick fix. I did brace it, I did have it for there for a while. So I'm gonna probably move it in a minute. But I made sure to do it, do it a couple of times where it could basically bounce back into shape and then everything because once I, I basically pushed it, I want to say maybe two or one pump in and then I just saw the, the whole thing just slid right on. So it's, good, it's a good thing that I did get it because now at least it could have this piece of metal to go back to into its original spot. But behind it, as I said, we're still going to need to take it to the... So when they're painting it, I'm going to just have them know what's going on. These bolts lined up, so I know this side is perfect. The other side, it, it kind of gave me a little difficulty, so that might be bent. But uh, it's probably just have them just pull it a little bit at the frame shop as well. But so far, so good. Um, as I said, I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse to finish installing everything, or all the wires and all of that on this car and all the hoses, and then see if we could start it. And then I know I broke this clip off the other car and I broke it off this car, but I think I figured out how to get it. So I'm going to have to remove it, this piece from the other one, and then see if I can put it on right here. And then there's a little clip right here that I need to put on to take from the other one. So I'm going to try to do all of that, start it, have it run for a while and then see, and then maybe even take this hood off and, and go from there. So. Let's see and see if we could get it get the first test drive today. Let's go. When you look, everything is connected, all the hoses and all of that. And I install all the Freon hoses. I'm not going to pretty, the only thing I clipped in 100% was this for the fan. But um, everything else, I'm not going to really clip it in 100% because, as I said, I need to check with the frame guys to see um, if everything is good. Or what we could do, we could just put the headlights and the bumpers on and see if everything will do what it needs to do so I could do that right now and then for this cable right here all you got to do is just basically open this box and then put this cape put I'm gonna take the old one off and then put the new one 
that we have from the parts car so I could do that right now so y'all could see let's go Push it in. You know, it's kind of tight, but you just gotta push it in. And then what I do, I just basically push this up, push the other side up, push one side in, push the other side up. Hold on. Hope you guys can see. All right, boom! It's open. So I'm gonna take the other one out. It's pretty simple. I don't know that this doesn't want to come out. Alright. That one came out. And then this is from the other one. So just gonna slip this right in. Press it down. It's already in. So I'll make sure it works. So that should be good. Yeah, so now that that is off, let's go first take this off, start putting cooling in, and then we gonna put it outside and see if it starts. All right, so now I'm about to put the cooling in it. Let's see what's going on happen so we can give it a quick start have it run for a while we may maybe change the engine oil remember we changed the engine the engine oil filter so now this time when we run it we could probably just drain all the, the old oil out i don't even know if it had an oil change i i think it probably did but i don't know i just probably just uh probably just um put new oil in it still so yeah but let's do it go from there let's go so I know it's gonna get all the air out of the system So once I, so I make sure to buy two bottles. So once one is done, then because once I start it, I know most of this coolant is gonna be gone. So uh, what I'm gonna do is start it, put the battery terminal on, start it, 
the box is on everything is on the only thing i said that is damaged right here is this little um i want to say it's uh something for when you put gas in the car uh it's just like how we had the 2013 one i can't remember the name of it but it's that vacuum it basically helps it with the vacuum so when you're ready to start the car you know see the coolant's already back down the mini so we have power so the only thing is not connected is probably that ambient temperature sensor and we could probably take it off the other car just to make sure or the bumper just to make sure that light won't be bothering us too so see now all the coolant's gone so i have to pull the second bottle and then start it yeah so i end up finding the, the sensor of the other bumper but i know we have you no know, we have a good sensor or wiring harness for this um bumper that we have but um everything is connected horn and everything so um i'm gonna just go and start it real quick uh see if i could back it up out of the garage and then go from there but just double checking one lap making sure everything is tightened 100 percent nothing is loose and then we're gonna see if these holes clamps hold on hopefully i put them on properly not like how we did the 2013 one where i put it on and then um five minutes into it warming up all the coolant leaked out oh, i just hit my face so yeah but we should be good one two three and then we'll just see if all the hoses are good and stuff oh we could put the headlights in too so we'll do that right now as well you could see the headlights are in this side looks smooth like you know it's just down here a little bit but on this side you can see but also this headlight is remember we said it was damaged from the other car and then right here is tear so i don't know probably just some adjustments need to be made on this side but we're gonna try to start it and then get it out the outside and let it run for a while So y'all can see it's a, a long day that we took to make sure we at least have it running but as i said most of the framework it probably still needs framework so you know don't 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 come for me all right don't hit me too hard with the comments in, in the in the in the comment section but the i know once i take it to the paint shop they could do all of that but for now all i'm i'm trying to see it runs good had it running for a while but the fan still not has came in yet so i'm thinking maybe the pump on that car was probably bad but um i'm gonna probably just have it sit for a while then try to restart it again i will do that off camera but in the next episode i could probably give you guys a a quick um first test test run around the community and see if everything is running right but there's a lot of lights on the dash we all know that so we're going to get that stuff done but hey thank you guys for watching like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on check us out on our social media links and don't forget to grab yourself some merch from weebibos.com hey stay positive 
Stay motivated, and I'll catch you in the next one.